Okay, so um, I think what I'm going to do is show you guys how to set up the filter on um, Lightspeed. So the first thing that you want to do, actually we'll do the schedule first and then how to, I'll show how to um, set up the filters. So when you first log into a class, the first thing you'll want to do is configure the schedule. And what the schedule does is it tells you when the filter comes on for this class. So if I click on that link, I'll get a little menu here. I've got a couple different options. I could do a custom schedule, which is uh, probably the easiest one to do. And then I could do an ad hoc. Now ad hoc just means I could put the filter on right now. So whatever students I have listed in this class, if when I hit start, all my filters, all the monitoring, uh, we'll start as soon as I hit that button. I have some options. I can run it for two hours, 90 minutes, 60 minutes, 30 minutes, but when I hit start, it will monitor all the students in that class. But I don't want to hit start every day, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose custom, and then I'm going to set up a schedule. So here at my building, we have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, always the same schedule. I'm going to just plug this in for, say, my advisory period. So my advisory period starts at 7.47 a.m. and ends at 8.35 a.m. So now what that does, what I'm doing is, is I'm setting a schedule that Monday through Thursday, Lightspeed will filter the students in this particular classroom from 7.47 to 8.35. Now on Fridays, our schedules change a little bit, so I'm going to set up a second schedule for Fridays alone. And I'll click on Friday. And on Friday, our advisory really doesn't occur until 1.50, oops, um, 1.50, oh, it keeps doing that, 01, uh, 50 p.m. and then till the end of school, which is 2.42 in my building. And now when I click save, what I've done is I've just set up a schedule for the students who are in there. Now I'm using a generic class. I don't have any students in there. But what I've done is I've set up a schedule that will kick in Monday through Thursday from 747 to 835. And then on Friday, it doesn't kick in until 145. And so if you look at all of my classes, I have each class scheduled for their appropriate times and days. The next thing I want to do is set up, I can, re, I can rename this. So if I want to rename this, we have our stuff synced to PowerSchool. I don't have a 13th hour. So this is the title that's in PowerSchool based on the section and stuff like that. So it'll be easier for me to say that this is my first hour or third hour or seventh hour. I can do that by clicking on these three dots, going to class settings. Actually, no, I take that back. I'm going to click on this and go to manage. See how I've changed the names? I can go to manage. And then I go down to my 13th hour. And I can click rename. And when I click rename, I could just go in here and change that to test class. I'm calling it test class because I'm using this to kind of show this video. Now, I'm not going to change this name. This is the name that we have in PowerSchool. That one can't change. But this top one is my display name, and that's what I'll see. So now when I go back, it'll say Adams test class. Okay? So now I've set up my schedule. I've renamed the class. The next thing I want to do is create a filter. So when I click on this, if I put no browsing, kids can't get on the internet. If I put none, there's no filter. They can go anywhere that they want uh, on the internet. And our district has filters, but I mean, you know, anything that isn't restricted by the district is where they can go. But I can even uh, filter and limit things even more. So if I go to customize, I can create a custom website. So I could come here. If I click here and I say explore mode, what this does is any website I put in here, if I put in google.com, it will actually block Google. Okay, so 
I could do that. Now, what I found that's easier, rather than block all the websites that all the kids go on, I block everything. So if I click here, this blocks everything. And then it only allows websites that I type in this space. So I'm a math teacher. The websites I let my kids use is Khan Academy. Org. Um, I do use Google Classroom, so I will type um, classroom.google.com. I do let them, sometimes they use the calculator on Google, so I could probably just say google.com. Um, and so basically, what I've done is, when this filter is on, it blocks every single website. The kids can only get on Khan Academy, classroom.google.com, and Google. When I click Apply, that filter is on. Okay? Now, I can go in here to the settings, class settings, and I could choose the default for what I want on. So if I have the schedule set up and I have custom, what that's going to do is from on Monday through Thursday from 747 to 835, it's only going to allow them to, to go on those three websites. Google um, Classroom and Khan Academy. Then on Fridays, it's only going to allow the students in this particular class to access those three websites. And at any point in time, if the kids are on there, I can go in and at any point in time and delete uh, or edit or add and change things at any point in time. I can also change the filter here. So if I select none here while we're in class, it will change and there won't be a filter. Okay? I hope that helps. Last.